More on last Friday's historic Supreme Court decision in favor of same-sex marriage. That decision was celebrated at LGTB pride parades in cities from coast to coast over the weekend, including right here in New York City. But overseas in Turkey, the pride celebrations there in Istanbul, they turned ugly when police used water cannons, tear gas, and rubber bullets on parade goers there. Organizers say the authorities told them that it was due to the march being held during Ramadan, but organizers say they were given no warning ahead of time. Joining me now is president and CEO of the LGBT advocacy organization, GLAD, Sarah Kate Ellis. Sarah, thanks for being with us amongst the midst of your celebrations over Thank the you. weekend, too, thanks to join us here. Me, Absolutely. Um, so we just saw that video, mm -hmm. you know, it's, and we're looking at that when it comes to how we portray it here at home mm -hmm. and the coverage that we've had uh, since Friday. And then those images there, stark contrast in Turkey. Uh, you know, talk to me a little bit about that, knowing that, it, is that dampen a little bit of, of what you're celebrating from the weekend? I think what was achieved on Friday took decades to achieve and I think that we're still celebrating and we will be however I know that most people who do this for a living hit their desks on Monday morning ready to keep the good fight going both here and abroad we have massive issues globally that we need to address but we also have a lot of issues still here at home that we need to address housing um, you know, there there's a number of issues that we need to address here. We can still get fired from our jobs. Sure, and then you also have the Texas Attorney General mm -hmm. who is calling it, you know, a lawless ruling that the justices weaken the rule of law, fabricated a new constitutional right. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, yes, there's more work to do, starting with now in Texas and other states too. They're saying, you know what? This is about uh, religious liberty. We have, there's a very dangerous narrative that's taking place right now where it, it, nothing happened to the First Amendment. No, nothing was changed. Every church, mosque, any place mm -hmm. of worship can go on behaving the way that they want to behave. Where it is is at the civil level. So if you're a civil employee, you need to marry same-sex couples. It's the law of the land now. And, and I hope that these, these states will respect that law. But we're ready and we're mobilized around that not happening mm -hmm. and being able to move that forward. And when you're saying move that forward, certainly one takeaway, one take a look at this uh, image of you celebrating over the weekend with uh. your parents <laughs> for raid here in New York City. You know, when you're looking at that moment, you look at the joy and the glee that you're experiencing during that time, but then you still see like the, the other, uh, what, what you might consider noise uh, from, from those who are still opposing it. Uh, how is it that you're able to block that out? I don't block that out. Actually, I just want to say that those are my parents. They're 75 and 80 oh, on the float with that's me. Great. And my twin six-year-olds were there and my wife. So it was a big day for us yesterday. Um, well, I don't block those out. I can't okay. block those out. That, that's my job to pay attention. And they're not small because people's lives are on the line. If, if people want to get married today and then one of them passes away mm -hmm. tomorrow, say, I mean, it, it, it's, it's an extreme case. However, if they're not allowed in Texas, that could be, you know, the difference between inheriting your, your and being able to bury your person versus not being able to. And I think that's more than noise to us. All right, uh, Sarah Kate Ellis, uh, thank you. And hope you Thanks can for having continue me. to celebrate with, with your twins, your wife and, and your parents as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Ayman Mohideen from MSNBC. Thanks for checking out our channel. Subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini-documentaries, conversations from Shift and other digital exclusives.